Hi guys, welcome back to GearJunks TV and a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Moog 16 channel vocoder. Moog has resumed production of the Moog 16 channel vocoder. Originally introduced in 1978. And the new version has exactly the same specifications and should sound equally impressive. In this video we will show you how it works and sounds. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on subscribe and the bell and you will be notified whenever we put a new video online. Vocoders were introduced as radio broadcast techniques, since they modulate signals on carrier waves. This turned out to be very musical too, as you can maintain the tonal structure of the signal whilst manipulating the carrier. Especially the human voice gets a real nice robotic sound when run through a vocoder. Let's take a look at the Moog vocoder and its functions and vocoding and how it works here. The design of this vocoder originates from Harald Bode. The brilliant engineer who also invented the frequency shifter and ring modulator designs that Moog has used. Vocoders need two audio sources to function, a carrier wave which acts as the original sound source, we call this the carrier, and a modulator. Without a carrier, no sound comes out of a vocoder. And the modulator can be, for example, a voice, but actually any audio source, including, for example, a bass guitar or even a drum machine. The carrier is the signal that the vocoder uses to encode or generate the modulator. Our synthesizers often used for this purpose. In the Moog vocoder, the modulator is called program and can be found here. And the carrier goes in here. Both inputs have level control and an amplifier for weaker signals. The Moog vocoder processes the program and carrier inputs through separate 16 channel fixed filter banks. Then there are 16 envelope followers applied to each filter output on the program channel and the outputs are fed into 16 VCAs, which are in turn controlled by the 16 filter outputs of the carry input signal. Very special about the Moog vocoder is that at the point where the processed signals meet, there is a patch bay. You can see it here. It is normal without any chords plugin, so each filter output of the program is controlled by its corresponding filter of the carrier. Now, when you change this, by patching different inputs to different outputs, you get weird or harmonic changes in the total output. For example, if you would shift all inputs one connection, the output signal will sound in a higher pitch. There are some other enhancements. First of all, there's a sample and hold function. At the moment you switch this on, the, the program input signal gets frozen. So you can uh, use it to sustain a note or even to sustain a voice. And you can operate it here, but it can also be operated with a foot switch. Then there's the external patch in-out function here. Uh, with this enabled, it will um, only look at the connected uh, upper and lower rows of the patch bay and when it's, uh, when it's in the out position it will just do what it says here and uh, connect all the frequency bands upper and lower together. Then there is a, um, a, a 580-15000 hertz switch and um, this creates an extra direct path from the uh, program input to the output. This is done to uh, enhance uh, certain higher uh, tonal values of, for instance, a human voice or uh, when you would connect a drum machine, for instance, the higher uh, pitched signals like hi-hats, they would go uh, to the output directly, so they will be more clearly audible than uh, if you would not use it. And then there is this uh, uh, mode switch and this can be set to his, um, his and bus and bus. So um, when you set it to bus it will only output the lower uh, frequencies and when you set it to his it will um, enhance the higher frequencies and in the middle position you can use this knob to give a little bit more his or a little, little bit more bus to the signal. And finally there's an, uh, one 
in-out switch and this just switches uh, on the vocoded signal. So uh, let's uh, check out uh, the first example and I will uh, just run my human voice through the vocoder. What I've done here is I've uh, connected the microphone to this preamp to um, create a more stable and not so easily overloading uh, program signal because when you overload the program the vocoder um, can easily distort as well and it will create a really nasty sound. Um, next to the uh, Moog I've set up a Moog matriarch and set it to, um, uh, at the moment, in, uh, to two voice paraphony. So this means uh, when I switch on uh, uh, one note, and I've also set it actually to uh, drone mode, so I only have to uh, press a key once. And this will uh, create a steady input signal. And as soon as I start talking, uh, the vocoder will output my voice the, as program using the carrier, um, in this case a single salted wave from the matriarch. So let's give it a try. Hello, this is a vocoder. Hello, this is a vocoder. So as you can hear, you can um, uh, operate the matriarch whilst you're uh, uh, inputting the voice, and this will create a voice modulated by pitch. Let's uh, Try it with two notes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So um, you can also use uh, multiple notes uh, if you have a polyphonic uh, synthesizer, or in this case a pyrophonic synthesizer, uh, to create um, chords. And when you uh, put your voice over the chords, they will sound in the, in the same melody and tonal structure of the applied notes that you have. And this is, of course, very commonly used in most vocoder uh, applications where human voices are recorded as well. I've set the paraphony to uh, um, four now. So I'll just play some chords and uh, uh, keep talking. Hello, this is a vocoder. So, for this uh, next example, I have uh, connected a Boss DR110 Doctor Rhythm. Don't mind this section because it's a circuit bent uh, one. Um, and I've connected it uh, uh, through the uh, preamp again and we'll just listen how it sounds when I just play it with the vocoder disconnected. Maybe a different pattern. And another one. Okay, so let's switch on the vocoder and uh, listen to what happens. And we can play around a little bit uh, with the his and bus section, because now it's set to bus. As you can hear, some differences here. And his and bus. Let's try a different pattern. And as you can hear, um, there's some uh, envelope following going on on the, uh, all the drum sounds. And it cre creates a nice uh, little extra effect for this uh, funny little drum machine. So for this example, um, I'm using the uh, Chipmunk uh, uh, patch that is described in the Moog 16 channel original manual. And it connects the upper row um, uh, with the lower row. Uh, shifted two positions. So I'll just patch this in and then uh, see how it sounds.
I pressed one uh, note on the matriarch again and set it to two voice mode, back to two voice mode. And um, let's listen how this sounds. Hello, this is the Kipman 3 set. 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 And I will be calling it with the Hello, this is um, maybe we should uh, adjust this one here a little bit for a bit more hiss and give it a little bit more signal. So I've uh, set up all the connections here and of course I have, must now apply the external patch and now we can hear the difference. I will just play a note on the matriarch and keep talking into the microphone. And for our final example, I've uh, uh, created the uh, robotic patch from the Moog manual. And this uh, cross-links uh, some of the upper frequency rows with uh, the lower frequency rows on that side and vice versa here. Um, let's see how that sounds. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, what do you think of the new Well, um, as you can hear from the examples, it can do lots of different things and it sounds really nice and lush and organic. And I think it is, it is an expensive unit, but if you really, really like vocoding voices or any other of these effects that you can do with a vocoder, please check it out. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.